Hi, welcome to Lantana Book Club. My name is Melissa and I'm going to be hosting the book club today. It's World Kindness Day and so we're going to be focusing on kindness, friendship and being an ally. And the book we're focusing on is called Shadow by Lucy Christopher. It's a really touching and beautiful book with stunning illustrations made by Anastasia Suvorova. And it's the story of a little girl and her mother who move into a new house. And the little girl discovers Shadow hiding under her bed. And together they begin to play in the dark. All of Lantana's books encourage their readers to navigate the world with positivity and strength, and Shadow is just the same. It shows us how kindness and empathy in a relationship are important in order to stay strong for ourselves and for others. And we're going to be talking to Lucy Christopher to see why kindness is such an important theme within her book. Hi, my name is Lucy Christopher, and I am the author of this book called Shadow which is illustrated by the wonderful Anastasia Suvorova. And I am absolutely delighted to be speaking to you on World Kindness Day, which is, of course, an important thing to be celebrating right now in the world and a wonderful thing in general. So I was asked whether I think it is important to have empathy to be able to connect with people. And I not only think it's important, but I think it is absolutely essential because if you don't have empathy, if you can't feel your way into someone else's shoes, some, some another character's experience, then how would you be, ever be able to see beyond your own worldview, your own prejudices? Um, how would you ever be able to feel your way into a kinder perspective on the world? So empathy is, is not just nice, but it's crucial if we're all going to move forward and get along better with each other in the future. Question two, why did the daughter and mother both choose to be kind and do you think it is important to make that choice even when it can be difficult? So Shadow is about a mother and a daughter and both the mother and the daughter have to be kind to each other in this book because they both have their own shadows which they are dealing with and of course these shadows could be representative of, of lots of things. It could be a sadness or a fear um, or a depression and they have to be kind with each other and see each other's sh shadows and see each other's sadness in order to move forward and it's important for these characters to be kind as it is indeed for all characters and all people to be kind because without it we won't be able to move forward and get to the end of the story or the end of the wherever we're going. Question three, do you think it is important to leave room in a story for the reader's own interpretation? I do think it's important for the author to leave space in a story for the reader's own interpretations. Not just the reader though, I think it's important for the author of a picture book to leave space for the illustrator's interpretation as well. And I see that the reading of a book is actually a three-way process. So the experience of having a book is a process that goes between the author, the illustrator and the reader. And all three of those points have to work equally hard in order for the essence of that book to, to get into that reader's head, and into that reader's soul. And I absolutely think that the reader has a lot of space for their own interpretations. And I kind of think of it like if the author is drawing half a circle, that reader is filling in the other half. So that reader is creating their own version of the events just as much as the author is. And that's why it's so magical uh, to read a book or to experience a book and so different to experiencing a film or, or a piece of um, television because in a book every single reader will have their own interpretation so there'll be as many different interpretations of a story as there are readers. Question 4. How did you come to decide what to make the shadow character look like and why does he change as the book develops? A little secret is that I actually didn't have any say or not that much say in that at all. So the first time I saw what um, Shadow was going to look like was when we had the first proofs, um, the first sort of rough images that came through from Anastasia, the illustrator. So the illustrator in fact completely designed Shadow uh, and, and um, made him the way he is. But I think she's done a wonderful job actually because as you read this book you will see that he does change as the book goes on so he starts off 
quite a lot uh, like our main character, the same sort of shape, he looks quite human. And then by the end of the book, he has sort of changed into something a bit more animally and uh, with sort of like these big ears. And at the end, you can even kind of see him as the black cat in the house. And I love the way that she has changed that shadow character from being something very close, very human, to something a little bit more removed, a little bit strange, but also quite wondrous and magical too, which is quite a nice and healthy way to think about our shadows. And question five, what thoughts do you hope your book will foster in your readers? Well, I hope that readers will really enjoy this book and um, especially love the gorgeous illustrations that go through the whole story. And I hope that they also think a little bit about what a shadow might be for them and for other people in the world, uh, whether it might be something that's scary or something that is sad. And think a little bit about how sometimes when something is really scary at first, as you get to know it, it becomes less scary. As you start to see what it is and really stare at it, and also as you have someone else in there getting to know your shadow or scary thing too, it becomes easier to look at, easier to manage, and maybe not so scary after all. Thank you so much, Lucy, for that insight into your book. You can buy Shadow at our website at lantanapublishing.com. The link will be in the description below. One of our missions is our book for a book scheme, so for every book that you buy on our website, another will be donated to one of our charity partners. Now we're going to create something. World Kindness Day is the perfect opportunity to give a little something to someone to show them that you're grateful for them and the things that they do for you. So we're going to make a thank you letter for someone who has been kind to you recently. It could be a friend who shared something with you, a parent or a guardian who's always there for you, or maybe a teacher who spent a lot of time helping you out recently. I'm going to make mine for a friend who's always there for me when I need someone to listen and who always lends me her favourite books so that I get to read them too. So for my letter I'm going to take a piece of card and fold it in half. If you don't have card you can use paper too but match up those edges as best you can and then there we go. So I want mine to say thank you on the front. So I know she likes the colour blue, so I'm going to write thank you in blue across my card. I like doing bubble writing, but it's a little bit difficult. I'm going to colour it in. There we go, now that's coloured in. And I'm going to draw a big lantana flower on the bottom, and then a bumblebee at the top, because I know she likes bumblebees. So now that I've drawn the petals and the leaves and I've coloured them in, I'm going to draw the bumblebee on top. But you can draw whatever you want, whatever you know that the person you're giving it to likes. Now I'm going to outline my bumblebee in black and colour in its antennae and its stripes. Now I just need to do its wings and show the journey that it's gone to visit my flower. Maybe it did a loop de loop here. There we go. Now I'm just going to outline it and I'm going to write my message to my friend inside and then it's all done. So now my card's all done and I've written my letter inside and I can't wait to give it to her and see what she says. Make sure to share what you've created on Instagram and Twitter and tag us at lantana underscore publishing with the hashtag kindness with lantana so that we get to see it as well. Your letter might be shared on our next episode of the book club. As the narrator and her mother learn, sometimes to find strength within yourself, you have to be kind to yourself and those around you. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time with a new book. Bye.